Welcome to your Flex Friday. Really simple setup. Going back to those bicep curls like we did the last two weeks. The only difference is we're going to eight reps on the flat back bicep curls. So you're on the pole or on the, uh, the wall, shoulders pinch back as you control that weight up and control that weight down, making sure your elbows are not swinging, all right, with a tight stomach, blowing out the air correctly. Once you complete your eighth rep, because that's the amount we're going to be doing, you're going to immediately grab that resistance band and go into eight bicep curls. Stepping onto that band, even if you can go heavier with the heavier band this week, even better. Same principles, get solid reps, guys. No mini me's. Get it all the way up, all the way down to complete your eight reps of your superset. Once you complete that, get a break. All right, because we're going to be going to the tricep. Tricep extensions to be exact. Going a little bit heavier than you did last week. Elbows up tall, shoulders pinched back, elbows up high. You're going to be doing a total of eight reps, controlling that weight. Once you finish, you're going to tricep pull downs. Maybe get a heavier band this week. Shoulders pull, I mean pinch, elbows down, pull the resistance band down. Remember, these are tempo. These are not as fast as you can go. Once you get a total of eight, take a break. Each uh, bicep and tricep movement will be done three times. Plenty of time in this 16 to 18 minutes to get it done. All right. So. Exercise one, bicep, superset, exercise two, tricep, superset, take a little break, and then go into it for two more rounds, all right? Um, last thing, if you do one round and it felt like it was too light, don't count it. Go heavier and then start it there. For your, condi for your conditioning, you will need a slam ball. First move we want to talk about is still dealing with the balance. Same move we did last week with the opposite reach. The only difference is I want you to grab a two and a half pounder or a five pounder, and we're going to do the same thing by balancing with it, more weight. Knees under your hips, palms under your shoulders. I'm gonna grab this five pound, I'm gonna lengthen my arm and leg, straighten it all the way out, and then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. It's not how fast we get this done in 30 seconds, it's controlling this with great form for 30 seconds. All right, after your transition period, you go right into the next movement, which will be slam balls. All right, wide shape, leg straight, work on that flexibility, ball up, slam it on the ground, not the other ones, fellas. You'll do this continuously for a workload of 30 seconds with weight that you can control. Once you finish for your transition period, you'll go right into your plank slides. So instead of a plank this week, we're going into the slides, six to eight feet, totally up to you. You're gonna do this continuously for 30 seconds. Once you get the 30 second workload finish, you get some recovery period, and then you're gonna go into your bear crawls. These bear crawls, you'll go forward and also reverse. So. Palms on the ground, as well as your toes, knees close to it. Go up a couple steps, and then you're going to go reverse a couple steps. You're going to repeat that continuously for 30 seconds. Once you finish your 30-second workload, uh, the last thing will be our standard hand plank, which is what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So palms directly under, tight stomach, hips down. All right? That's going to be your Tabata. you got your workloads of 30 seconds. Uh, rest periods of uh, 10 seconds. Recovery of 30 seconds. We're going to do this a total four times. All right. That's going to be your Tabata for your Flex Fridays. Can't wait to see you tomorrow because it's on and popping. Y'all take care.